Go for Sunday, 30th of January 2012. We left you last night with this uh, floor repair. We've now done the floor repair. All seem welded in. It's going nowhere. So now we're we're offering up the final stage of the leading edge uh, repair piece. Even the new floor piece that I put in had a not a bad leading edge, but it was rough. So I'm going to continue using this the repair panel. I'd, I'd cut it uh, previously because um, I was only working on the, uh, the the forward section, and that would have gone in the way here. So anyway, now we can reattach that, and then we can make this cut line here. We can weld that in, and um, I've kept the height there of the floor pan, so I know the height of, of this. It's a little bit different. If you can see, there's a big gap here. That's because this is a pattern panel designed to to drop over and botch up your old floor so we're gonna um, bring these two surfaces together we're gonna we're gonna lift that floor up and we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna join those edges it's gonna take some a little bit of beating on both sides of this because there's a big gap you know it's really, really rubbish um, sometimes using copy panels but the, the leading edge is perfect for what it needs so it does its job so We'll um, we'll do that now. We'll get that welded in. Let's see where we can get get up to. But that's nice. That that, that weld went in really good. I'll have to fix this up. This is the one off the silver car. Unfortunately, when they chopped off the silver car, they chopped that edge off. I'll have to make a new edge with some right angle. Won't be a big problem. That new edge for it, then get it drilled. Okay, so um, we've taken that off as you saw with the air, air as you saw with the air saw. We um, put this panel in now. Watch this now. We get these very handy clamps. Put that on the the new leading edge we've done. Offer it up to the sill. See that coming in there. Then we're gonna drop this. Hang on, I just move the camera. Right now. I'll, I've dropped that in place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clamp that up now, so it holds the floor in position. Okay, so you can see that's flush. Flush. You see that line there corresponds with that, so that's exactly as it should be. So let's get that well in there, along there, and you'll see it start to drift out towards the end. Although not a great deal, but I'll pull this up and offer it up, and we'll follow that through. I might have to make another cut with a grinder there just to get that continuous but let's just get it fixed here first so that we begin to get um, it, it says can stay up of, of its own accord once I've welded onto it I can um, pull the sill out and continue the weld so we'll do that now crafting out the complex raised sort of platform shape here so we're cutting in some pieces and making these curves just doing it freehand just trying it as we go along to get a shape that's going to work that's going to create that dome effect so I'm using some of the um, alignment to try and keep the keep the shape there so we've sort of 
got that to make a look in something right now. I'm just going to fold, fold that once you get them, once you get those welds in, this will uh, should work quite well. And then I've got, got a flat platform over there. Is that uh, curve I wanted to get? There's that little bit to do. So we're on with that. We're using the using the air uh, nibbler to nibble out some planks. We're using the the cut off tool as well. We're welding in with that. So I can't um, film as I'm doing this. So I'll just uh, resume in a minute. I'll show you where, where we've got to. On freehand, got the pieces in place to make the shape. So we're going to weld those up. Then finish with a top plate and then a skim down, try and blend that in. Hopefully that'll uh, look uh, something like right. Okay, I've, uh, I've cut out the old metal and followed that shape. I've now cut it out so that we can get these, the butt weld in. Just like put the angle grinder through. It was built, this skin was built over that one and then you drop the old skin out, leaving the fresh skin in so we can seam weld around there. Now all needs a topping plate finish off all those welds you've got yourself a nice uh, repair piece of floor all the other floors on the cartoon as I looked at had rotted in the same place so I may as well just have rebuilt this one I think that'll look quite nice when it's done that's look, already looking okay that was done freehand as I said with a nibbler just nibbling shapes and fitting it over tacking it up and then obviously we'll uh, we'll squeeze those together now let's get some welds in there that should look quite nice I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what that looks like with the the seam weld on it. Let's go. Okay, we're uh, popping in that top plate now. I'll have a little update for you, I'm going to switch the radio off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we are with the updates. So what, I'm going to have to clear the workshop up, we're getting messy. Alright, floor section in. Well done, floor section in. Uh, floor uh, seat, uh, raised panel platform area made. All welded in. Reinforcing plate and bolt plate about to go on. Made that before. Fit a bolt to that, a little nut to that, weld that in. We've got to get the seat down from upstairs now and line the seat up. That goes in all the way up there. Small repair patch made and put in there. Small repair patch made, put in there. Grind these welds down now. Get that, get that on. Grind them welds down. Then I'll start lining up the inner sill because the floor's done. So we're looking good. Oh yeah, we've got to fix that cross member. Um, put that back in position as well. I'm ready to put that cross member back in position to weld that up. So uh, that's the update at the moment. Okay, take some still shots now. Okay, we're, we're going to grind down and fit this piece now. So then we can get the seat in. I brought the seat down there. We're going to uh, bolt the seat on so that I can get the exact fixing point for this uh, bolt and then we can fit the um, reinforcing plate which I've made which will put the nut on the inside of that we'll, light, we'll bolt that to the bottom of the seat with the nut already on it let the seat go down then I'll get a couple of tacks on then lift the seat off that's the, that's the procedure so we'll get the nut welded inside there first I'll have to make a cut out there for the nut weld the nut on position it on there then weld it in position that's the plan. Okay, we're going to do that now.
Okay, floor's all prepped up. The uh, welds are ground down. There's a bit of primer gone on, a weld through primer gone on there. Okay, now just putting back that cross member support. Now that that floor's done underneath it, I can weld that back. Then we'll start building up the, uh, the seat uh, bolt mount and we'll get that on. So uh, all looking smart. Let's get that welded on now. That's it. That's on. Floor repairs. All done for Sunday night. That's all I'm doing. So we're signing off. Sunday, 29. January 2012, floor repairs, ready for inner sills, one cross member to put on there, all looking solid, signing off. I have a little update for you, I'm going to switch the radio off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Here we are with the updates. Say so what, I'm going to have to clear the workshop up, we're getting messy. Alright, floor section in. Well done, floor section in. Pa uh, floor uh, seat uh, raised panel platform area made. All welded in. Reinforcing plate and bolt plate about to go on. Made that before. Fit a bolt to that, a little nut to that, weld that in. Got to get the seat down from upstairs now and line the seat up. That goes in all the way up there, small repair patch made and put in there, small repair patch made, put in there, grind these welds down now, get that, get that on, grind them welds down, then I'll start lining up the inner sill because the floor's done, so we're looking good. Oh yeah, we've got to fix that cross member, um, put that back in position as well, we've got to put that cross member back in position to weld that up, so uh, that's the update at the moment. Okay, take some still shots now. Okay, we're, we're going to grind down and fit this piece now, so then we can get the seat in. I, I brought the seat down there. We're going to uh, bolt the seat on so that I can get the exact fixing point for this uh, bolt. And then we can fit the um, reinforcing plate which I've made, which will put the nut on the inside of that. We'll, light, we'll bolt that to the bottom of the seat with the nut already on it. Let the seat go down, then I'll get a couple of tacks on, then lift the seat off. That's the that's the procedure, so we'll get the nut welded inside there. First I'll have to make a cut out there for the nut, weld the nut on, position it on there, then weld it in position. That's the plan. Okay, we're going to do that now. all prepped up, the uh, welds are ground down, a bit of primer gone on, a weld through primer gone on there. Okay, now we're just putting back that cross member support, now that that floor's done underneath it, we can weld that back, then we'll start building up the, uh, the seat uh, bolt mount, and we'll get that on. So uh, all looking smart, let's get that welded on now, that's it, that's on. Floor repairs. Well done for Sunday night. That's all I'm doing. So we're signing off. Sunday, 29 January 2012. Floor repairs. Ready for inner sills. One cost member to put on there. All looking solid. Signing off.
I don't know. I don't know if you want to come in and join the action. Come have a look. So there we are. Put them welds in now as you can see. Some of the welds that have gone in. I'll be continuing to work my way around it. Gives us a nice finish. So let's finish off there now. Okay. There's your welds. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll resume in. Okay, job done. My next job now. There's the seat belt bolt in position. So we're on there. My next job is trying to cut this. I'm going to put a new bottom on this from a uh, second hand part we got. Off the silver Mark IV, the donating car, that's Mark's car. He's kindly uh, happy to see it go to a good place. We're uh, going to cut and uh, take that off and then use it as a template over the over Mark's uh, or Midnight Classics, to, the Midnight Classic Mark G4 and Mark IV. Still want, which has been. We've been carefully storing in the boots in the scrap in the scrap metal department. Welcome to the scrap metal department. It's half the cars in here. All the bits which we might need for reference and stuff like that are all laid out. Even the old. That's part of uh, the Mark IV as well. You can see where we took the old one off. So here's our zone at A post coming out now. Let's take that to the preparation zone. See evidence of old car there. We're going to have a big clear up in a minute as well before we finish the end of the day because it's a pig sty in here. It needs sorting out. I've lost track of keeping clean. So our donor piece. We need to start finding those spot welds now to get that off. So we'll start on that soon. Um, right, okay, let's uh, let's start picking that up. Ok that's the last spot weld off, we've just got to tap that corner, not that, that's it, it's just that one there, there you go, it's on a donor part, and a nice mark for it, it lives on. Take that, we look at this, we ask ourselves whereabouts we'd like to see this. We can overlay that and get our cut. A nice new bottom piece, bottom B post. Tomorrow's job will be to graft that in. We're going to finish for today. We'll get that in tomorrow night. We'll start putting the sill back on. It's been a long time coming. But, uh, 
Yeah, we can start getting that uh, sword back on. Huh? 